Hello, I was going to wait for the noise to die down, but I guess there are people who want this to be done sooner rather than later, so pardon the extremely loud no noise of people moving out of the building. Um, last episode we made it so that we've got this, but it quickly grows out of control and will eventually bog your machine down to nothing. So in this episode we're going to make it so that it starts to understand the limits of how things work. So we're going to need to open up all these files. The first thing we're going to do is, last episode I made the brushes a protected um, list, and then I made the strokes a protected list, and then I unprotected the strokes. We're going to protect them again, and that's because we don't want the, uh, the strokes to be able to control themselves quite so directly. So here we're going to say public uh, void add stroke, 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 and public void remove stroke, stroke, stroke. Now remove stroke is easy. Is it not called strokes? It's called strokes. It's just decided not to autofill it. But add stroke we're going to actually put in some limits. We're going to put in a hard limit of maximum stroke count, but in order to do that better, let's go ahead and make it a variable. That way we can change it, depending on how we prefer it. And now we have to go over into strokes, because it's now not working. And here we have to change this to maker.remove stroke this and we have to make this into maker.add stroke this oh sorry that's actually a new stroke and now we should have cleared up the problem we had with uh, excessive slowdown and you can see that the brushes only get added again once a, one of the strokes gets to the edge of the screen and deletes itself. But we need to add some intelligence to these brushes, so what we're actually going to do is modify the brush stroke so that it understands what it's painting onto. So we open up brush. We need to have a public bool can paint int x int y and map maker maker. So this works the exact same way, except that we are planning to only paint if all of the points we're trying to paint are um, are the default color. Now I think the default color is transparent black, but it might be transparent white. To make sure that we actually know what it is, let's just go ahead and set it. So we'll just set all the pixels to black, and that ought to make it so that we can, over here, say that uh, if it's not black, so maker dot, no, sorry, maker dot get color, x, uh, pxy, if maker dot get color pxy does not equal color dot black, then return false, otherwise return true. And over here in stroke, what we're going to say is um, here it is. Uh, if brush dot can paint, or if not brush dot can paint, x y maker. So if we're not allowed to paint, then we want to destroy ourselves. So what exactly does that accomplish? Well, it should actually mean that we almost we don't uh, should it should immediately finish uh, off the map. It should like not have any brush strokes. It should be like done. Oh no, wait, because we're drawing horizontally and we're moving vertically. That's right. But you can see that we're getting a lot faster spread, and that's because rather than continuing to draw to the top or the bottom, it stops as soon as it hits another red marker. 
so this is the basis of how it's going to work. Um, but what we need to do now is we need to make it so that the map doesn't simply always paint in the same direction. Uh, so to do that, we're going to use this to spawn a different brush in a different direction if we hit an illegal operation. But the noise is picking up again, so that'll have to wait until next episode.